Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? It's Chris here. Uh, just bringing you the final video for the uh, Chevy Cheeseburger tribute build. Uh, I realised I hadn't done any updates or anything. I just, uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I got into it and sort of forgot about it. Got to take photos and video as I went, as I usually do. But uh, you know, this is the the worst case from from intro to the final. <laughs> But uh, as you can see, if you remember, I did the 70 Chevelle uh, SS from Ravel, and uh, I painted it in the in this sort of a bronzy red colour, uh, which is red is uh, Chip's one of favourite oh, one of Chip's favourite colours. Um, it's pretty much uh, box stock, which was just with some with some added stuff. Uh, I used some aftermarket wheels, Pegasus wheels there. Uh, I opened the doors and the trunk and I detailed the engine bay. I added the gauges to, to the hood there. Um, <clears throat> Alright, well let's, let's start with underneath. There's the chassis. Um, the engine block as you can see is painted the same colour, same as the body colour. I've got the fuel lines and brake lines running through. Um, from the exhaust back, that's uh, my own my own pipes there because I was moulded into the to the diff and I didn't like that. So I always try to separate it if I can. It wasn't too difficult, but uh, it seemed to be more difficult than what it was. <laughs> so I ended up just making my own from the end of the exhaust from the end of the mufflers straight back and with some uh, aluminium tips there. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, the wheels, I added the uh, the valve stems, if you can see them, put a focus. I also added some uh, parts box um, rotors and calipers to the front and the rear. All the way around, basically. Uh, the doors are all magnetized with a little locking pin, which you can see there. Uh, I did want to make the scuff plates, but turns out there wasn't enough room between the bottom of the door and the and the panel there. I might do it eventually if I work out something thin enough, but but yeah, for the moment it's going to stay like that. Um, the interior is just basically all black. Uh, the different shades of black just to break it up a bit with some grey. Uh, the dash is flat aluminium and then the gauge is detail painted. I didn't use the decals that come with it. I don't really like using dash decals that normally work out the best. Uh, we've got some photo edge seat belts. Well, locking class and whatever they call those things. The belts are satin ribbon. Um, if we switch over to the other side, you can see there's a fire extinguisher there, little tag, and on the seats we have uh, Cheap's Lunch, Burger King, I hope he likes Burger King. <laughs> um, what else we got? Well that's pretty much it for the interior. Doors up. Um, the trunk I also opened, uh, cut out and magnetized, and I installed the uh, sound system in there for him uh, with the subs and speakers and the amp there, and a bit of uh, clear plexiglass <coughs> with uh, Pioneer decal. And it's all uh, the interior and all the areas are all got uh, felt for the, the carpet. <coughs> uh, I used the decal that come with the kit and the Chevelle. Uh, the number plate, just made my own custom uh, tribute number plate. Let's swim around to the front. <coughs> Uh, 
and that's also the, the decal that comes with the kit. Uh, I made some decals for the back window, Pioneer, to go with the sound system, and if it'll focus, uh, you've got extremescaledetail.com on the bottom and the Extreme Scale Detail logo there. <coughs> Uh, okay, now to the engine, if I can take this off with one hand. Okay, now uh, the engine's basically uh, stock that comes with the kit as the, uh, the street version. And I just obviously did all the wiring and the plumbing. Um, see if I can remember what I did. Uh, obviously we've got the, the plug wires in there. Um, <coughs> I made a well, let's look at the top of the blower and the, and the carbs. Got a little spring there. Here we go. And we've got the fuel line running. Uh, the distributor in the back. The uh, wiper motor, as you can see there. Uh, the wiper, uh, the washer bottle line goes from the washer bottle right around which would connect to the, the the hood somewhere but obviously you won't better take it off if you do that um, <clears throat> we have the the heater hoses there uh, the radiator hose the battery is all wired up um, I ran the air conditioning so I also made a, a custom air condition unit and the belts can't really see properly, but maybe you'll see it better in the photos. I uh, made a decal there for the fan shroud. Uh, most of the chrome was just black wash to bring out the detail. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? We got some sunglasses there in the dash. <coughs> so chip can cruise in style. Um, <coughs> we have the um, the brake lines running to the master cylinder. That's about it. No, the dipstick's in there somewhere. <clears throat> and that's it, really. I'll just take some photos now and uh, put up a slideshow. And also, Chip wanted to us to send the photos to him, so I'll also do that. Oh, I'm out of the uh, the hood. The hood, uh, the hood holder upper, <laughs> the hood rod, or whatever they call those things. Um, yeah, if we can get that in there. Well, that's it. Yeah, like I said, I'll take some photos and put up a slide show and hope you like that chip. And uh, yeah, sorry for being away for so long. I just haven't had a chance to to take any videos along the way. And, I said I've forgotten as well. The um, the next uh, project we're going to be working on is the uh, Lunar Lander for our mine and Jonathan's uh, real space tribute or Apollo 11 tribute or Luna, uh, Lunar Lander, Moon Landing, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, group build thing. Um, yes, yeah, so just a reminder that's on uh, July 20th should be finishing those uh, and that's it well sorry this is such a long video but obviously I had a lot to talk about alright I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later